Today I'm gonna paint the rotten claw from Zombicide Undead or Alive. Howdy miniature painting fans, I hope you're having a good day. So I'm painting the Rotten Claw, and he was Zenithal highlighted with a matte black and then given a nice airbrushing of matte white. And if you saw my last video, you know why I love airbrushing some Zenithal highlighting. And we're starting off with a little bit of brethel something anyways. And as you can see, I'm using my airbrush here and I'm just tweaking the nozzle a bit uh, to be able to get the right spray. I was getting a little too much out or not enough or something and it wasn't creating the uh, flow I wanted, which is great about this uh, airbrush. And it's not even that expensive. It was super cheap on Amazon and it works really well. A lot more nooks and crannies on it so that you can uh, fix around or tweak and stuff like that. So as you can see, I'm just going around with the airbrush and uh, I'm trying to get like the areas that are going to be a little bit darker with this paint. This is the base coat, of course, and I'm not doing a whole triad of colors. I'm just using the base and the highlight. Uh, and of course, I let it dry quite a bit before I did any of that. And then I work on to the uh, Fay Child Glow, I think it's called. Uh, and yeah, so as you or now it's the... Uh, fire drake but anyways for the cloth but as you can see with the airbrush i just went on quickly where there was like some areas where i wanted it to be a little bit more highlighted and all that now the fire drake is doing his cloth here so you know it's like a dirtyish brown cloth uh there's not much clothing on this guy and that's all he has is a piece of clothing and the rotten claw is a pretty cool miniature and as you can see with the zenithal uh, you know, the cloth is very dark in these recesses here. It's very shadowed. Uh, this is what's cool again. You set up your light to get the where you want your matte white to hit as if you're going to have it brighter. And then when I put the base coat on, if you don't spray too hard with your airbrush, uh, you're going to get keep that area lighter as well. And then, of course, I put the white area, uh, the light area as well uh, with the lighter paint. Desolate brown now for the teeth and all the spikes and his big nails and all the big gruesome things and this has got like a greenish brownish decaying look to it which is pretty cool for these spikes i think anyways i think it comes out looking really cool this guy's pretty gruesome looking already uh if you haven't played undead or alive from zombie side it's an old west version of zombie side but he doesn't have to be for the undead or live version you could use this one in uh probably black plague even green horde because he looks kind of like orcish a bit to me so you could use this guy in green horde you could put him in there but the thing is you don't have the cards for those zombie sides so if you're able to make the card stock for it go ahead but because the card will show up a little differently and the way that they do the abominations in the newer versions is that you just draw an abomination card and you randomly choose which abomination is going to show up it's not like the other ones where you used to have five or six cards of the same abomination in the deck and then that one would move that way so this is a little bit different but so i'm just saying you could you could find a way to tweak it and add it in there but that is up to you of course right all right now a little bit of fire giant orange for his tongue here we're gonna have him like a, like this orange tongue which is kind of gruesome kind of cool i find it different than pink or red and then one of my this is one of my favorite gruesome paints here murder scene You've seen me use it on the Wendigo with the airbrush, how cool it came out. Now I'm just brushing this on into these exposed ribs, showing like the muscles underneath. Yes, I'm getting the bones, but I will take care of that after, don't worry. Now I am using a Citadel shade because I find their shades are really good. I've kept those and they have a little bit more variety than other than army painter anyways uh, i don't know about like vallejo and all them i've never checked out those ones and what i did is i did a 50 50 water mix with it because i didn't want it to be overwhelmingly taking over the paint job i did with the airbrush because a lot of times you'll put a shade over what you've done and you find that you completely negated what you've been trying to create as a shading effect so by watering it down or adding medium whichever way you want to do it uh, it just gave it a little bit more uh, oomph to this miniature and just got into all the nooks and crannies Gave a little bit more shading to it, which is what it's supposed to do And I found that I was able to get what the still keep that highlighted look like really like that zenithal look Where the light was really reflecting from his right side like as if the, the sun was shining brightly on him there and keep that look as you can see it doesn't darken it down too much it doesn't remove any of those highlightings i did and even keeps you know where you did the zenithal very well in the background all right so now i come back with that uh bay wild flesh or whatever it's called i can never remember the name um brethel flesh or something like that and i'm going over those bones uh, and there you go the uh, rotten claw is painted ready for the table 
I don't know if you guys liked the video, but I like painting this guy, and you guys voted for him, so I hope you're going to watch it. Anyways, I want to thank you guys again for checking out my channel, checking out my videos. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and guess what? We'll see you all in the next one.